Morning, y'all. Good morning, a slightly grey Edinburgh. Today, you're gonna follow me around the Scottish Open, the Monday of the Scottish Open, and we're gonna spend some time with Liam, who is Titleist Tall Fitter. So let's spend a day kind of in the life of what these people really get up to with these really highly skilled golfers at the end of the day. Right, it's quarter to eight, tightless truck. We're gonna meet Liam in a second. It's an early start. He's been here since about half seven. Um, it's a bit of a drizzly gray morning. I think we start in there, we'll be best. Right, hello Liam. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. How long have you been with Titleist now? Because I filmed with you years ago actually, yeah. with another company. Two, but two and a half years. Two and a half years, and yep. what's your role with Titleist? Uh, European Tour Manager for Golf Club Fitting and Development. So. Okay, so you're out here every day, or most, uh, most of the year, helping players choose what clubs to buy? Mainly, yeah, mainly here. <laughs> <laughs> mainly here, I do it in America as well, but mainly I'm European based in a quite, uh, uh, a month a quarter in America. Okay, excellent. And then what are you finding at the minute? Obviously you've been trying new TS with everyone. Yeah. Um, take up being decent? Very well. We got the basically the most number of players put it in play the first week in France at the French Open. Okay. Um, so out of 25 staff players, we had 23 staff players that put it in play first week which yeah. was the highest number ever so Fantastic. there's only one reason to do that and that's really performance yeah yeah so cool. it was really good for good accolade for us and i'm gonna have a go with it now and we're yep. gonna see if it's any different to my driver which is there we're gonna try ts2 ts3 yep i'm looking forward to this Let's just so it. everyone knows as well these are prescription glasses so if he goes with terminator <laughs> on us <laughs> i have to wear them <laughs> four shots here and give me feedback on as much as you can in strike location yeah yeah you know the drill Say. That's my well. That's not a miss for me. That's your sweet spot. Yeah. Even with your strike location, when we're saying about when they strike slightly off on this, speed stays in optimize, and you're in optimizer, and so does the spin. Yeah. Yeah. Liam's just going to do some work with Stevie Gallagher. I think they're going to look at irons and maybe driver as well. Let's see what they're doing. Feedback there. That was all right. Just a nice wee drift. Straight location. Right in the middle. basically you change the lie yeah, in the I'm cg the yeah right. change the line the cg to, to try and stop it leaking yeah. that's better so they've made the lie liam's made the lie a little bit more upright and then he's moved the center of gravity a bit more towards the heel just to try and stop stevie feeling like he's losing that ball slightly to the right definitely making a difference how much he'll adjust over time, well, I guess that's why they're on the range every week. That was a lower one. That's certainly so this is a, a gaming shot for Steve, I'm all in the wind. Just to hit the fairway. You've got to do that you when you're testing. You're not it's going to hit the same shot every time. Yeah, so 275 running out at 312. Three so almost gets, that, that's going to go the same into the wind Total. as a, as yeah. a, as a, as a, a yeah. good one down the wind. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So Liam's just working with Lee Slattery. He's between 917 and TS3. So he's kind of flicking between the two. So Liam's just gonna see if he can do something to make him feel more comfortable to keep that TS3 in there. So I went in there and just back waited it to help you with the loft, maintain the loft and to create a wee bit more spin. It's good if you're fully if you're fully going at it and then we get up early in the morning a bit stiff. It's got a little slide up first or something it just wants to get dip. down. It's hard, it's hard to just get one moving and spinning enough to put that shape okay. on it. Now look at this one. First one out the back. So even visually if you look at your blue ball against the red you can see visually where it is there. Yeah. Right? Uh, your game mode, let's click on that. It's 282, 305, 2.5 spin, 286, 310, 2285, 12 and a half launch. All through optimize. And where you're at, higher higher end of launch, so when we're looking about the ball dipping. Yeah. That that launch is up now against what you're doing with the gamer, and the spin is in, in right in the center. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go for a low one, just a low one. Sixty-six ball speed, and your peak height is one oh nine against one oh four. So every shot you've hit, your peak height's up, yeah. and your launch is up. Definitely higher, yeah. yeah. So we're not it was again. A necky one, it's still yeah. going out there at what two eight nine. Two eight nine. Yeah, no. fly. Is that normalised? You're always normalised. Yeah. Good. Great shot. Lovely. So what happened there? What did you change? Obviously he was looking to try and sustain spin a bit, wasn't he? Yeah. So just helping loft in the golf club. So basically in the back of here with the weight, I've just went in here with some rack glue and weighed up in behind here. Okay. This helps spin yeah. and then helps his dynamic closure yeah, as well. Absolutely. So you can see from where he was, he was maintaining the loft yeah. on it more. On his low one that the spin was still in an optimization window for him because he was saying in the morning with the other gamer he was feeling as though it was dipping. So by moving that back there, just helping him maintain the loft and create a wee bit more spin. And he's TS3, is he? TS3. Uh, with since France? Since France, yeah, with a, a draw weight and on setting B2, which is... Is that slightly more... Slightly more upright, Yeah, but he plays C2. So from where he's at, it's just it, it's actually 0.75 more loft. Okay. Um, and then we're back weighting it as well. Yeah. Cool. So we're going to look at Luke List. Luke he's, List. What is he? He's ball. He plays our irons, wedges, and golf ball. So what have you done to his wedge there? He was using a 60m, and he's now gone to a 50. The eight, sorry, a 58M he was using. He's now using a 58L grind with extra heel relief because this is so bare. Yeah, so he's reacting to this. Yeah, so we're opening the, when he's opening the face, we're taking out the heels so it'll sit really flush and tight for him in these conditions. Excellent. Very different from coming from America to here. Yeah. Better already through the car. Sitting tighter, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So is that a visual thing for you, Luke, as well as a feel? Yeah, I mean, obviously this we don't give this firmer turf, so it's kind of playing around with it a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm wondering just a little, if it would be, because I, I think that's getting better. I'm just wondering if this gets a little, because I'm just used to so much, that's all I'm wondering versus the gamer. So we just bring it in here yeah and then flatten this out here yeah. okay that would be good and then that's not gonna do do too much to this no not at all it'll just flatten, cool. flatten that out so what we're we doing now we're gonna take a little bit more off the back a little bit more off the back so just taking this ribbon out here and um, when he's hitting when he's getting it tight in the in the turf this here is just dragging a touch yeah and then I'm gonna take a wee bit more heel relief out also 
Fantastic. So it's really going to set flush. I like the way he tried it out the bunker as well. He's obviously yeah. thinking, well, it's all great this working from yeah. this slide, but I also play this club from that and situation. That's important when the guys want to see this sitting really tight. Yeah. Is that you do you don't take everything out of the centre of the golf club yeah. so you, they can actually use it in the bunker. Because it's got to be versatile, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Right, made it home, that was a fun day. Really interesting, spending time with Liam, listening to the players. They're no different, the conversations are the same conversations you will have with your fitters and pros. It's more, it's players looking for answers in situation, so at times of their play, they hit a little fade where they normally hit a little draw and they want to work with it. And you can see why they have to be out there every week because those wants and kind of desires change as the players change and their skill set change and when they're searching for more changes. As always, I love spending time with Liam. He's one of the best fitters I've ever been lucky enough to spend time with. Him and JJ as well. Titleists are amazing, the kind of depth that they go into with everything. It's probably the most professional I've seen out of all the companies that I've been lucky enough to spend time with. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, shortest carry I saw on that range with a driver was 285. That was the shortest I saw. Those boys did it a long way. <laughs>